Things would have turned out differently if it hadn't been for us. to be had there. thought of that himself what do we have here don't I know you from somewhere who wants to know I'm Buster one of Lee's mercenaries and you had better be a little nicer to me or I'll have your hide all right what do you want here I know Lee everyone knows Lee that doesn't mean a thing pal right now you're talking to me so where are you headed? That's none of your business. Nobody talks to me like that, you worm. I think it's time to kick your butt. Defend yourself! Defend yourself! Let him have it! You're the better fighter. What do you want? I want to find out more about the mercenaries in this region. I can't tell you much about this region. 
You'd better ask the farmers. And as for us mercenaries, we have a very simple rule. If you can stand your ground, you're in. I think you're made of the right stuff to be one of us. But you shouldn't let it get to your head that you lucked out during our last fight. There are plenty of guys on the farm who are quite a bit better than I am. Sentenza, for one. He guards the entry to the farm. Whatever you do, don't pick a fight with him. What about this Sentenza? He'll try to squeeze some gold out of you when you come to the farm. He does that to all newcomers. And if I were you, I'd pay up. That's what I did back then. And the good thing was that he voted for me afterwards. One good turn deserves another, he said. I lost all my gold in the bargain, but it wasn't much to begin with. And I was glad of it in the end. I once watched him beat up a fellow who had decided not to pay him. Thanks for the hint. Indeed. Could it be worth anything to you? Here you are, five gold pieces. Yeah, thanks, man. Looks like I can take a few tonight after all. I won't forget this. Can you teach me how to fight better? I might well be able to give you a hint or two. That's... He really should have known better.
Hey! You're the farmer here? You could say so, but I'm really just a tenant. All the land here is owned by one big farmer. How do you make a living? Mostly hunting, and the wood we cut, of course. We also raise sheep and work the land. O&R saddles me with all these laborers, and I have to keep them busy somehow. Only a few of them are good hunters, you see. Has anything strange happened around here lately? Many strange things are happening these days, but none as strange as the mysterious disappearance of Pardos. He's one of my field workers, and certainly not the kind who would drop everything overnight and slink off just like that, you see. What exactly is so strange about his disappearance? Pardos is such a timid sort. The furthest he's ever been from the farm is to the end of my fields. He would run away at the mere sight of a meat bug. Those things may not be pretty to look at, but you really couldn't call them dangerous. They say there's people who eat them. Gross. You get used to it. Maybe he was simply fed up. Working in the fields was his life. I cannot imagine him having gone to work for another farmer. With me, he could do whatever he wanted. Any clues at all? I think those bandits must have dragged him off. They've been roaming around this area for days now. I once saw them drag a citizen of the town off to their camp. It looked like they were gonna make him a slave. Where is this bandit camp? At the far end of my fields, some steps lead down to a small hollow. That's where they have made themselves at home. I'd like to go look for Pardos there, but there's no way I'm going up against those guys. And you would better give him a wide berth too. They're not known for their sense of humor. You're employing day laborers? Onar sends away the workers he can't use on his farm. Then, he sends them to me. I feed them and they work here for me. What do you think of Onar? <laughs> He's a greedy bastard who'll get us all hanged in the end. One of these days, the paladins will come out of the city and make us small farmers bleed for what he's doing here. But I haven't got a choice. The militiamen only come here to collect and not to defend the farm. If I held myself loyal to the city, I'd be very much on my own. At least Onar sends some mercenaries now and then to see how we're doing. What have you got against the royal troops? It's obvious. There hasn't been any improvement now that the paladins are in the city just the opposite. Now these cursed militiamen come onto our land even more often and steal everything they can, and the paladins don't do a darn thing about it. The only paladins that I've ever seen are the two guards at the pass. <laughs> they wouldn't budge an inch, even if the militia slaughtered us all. The pass? Yeah, the pass to the old valley of mines by the waterfalls at the other end of the high pastures. Ask Malik about it. He was there a couple times last week. I think I've found something. insisted he knew better. That'll only cause more trouble. Is it really true? Hey, you! Everything all right? Yet another day laborer who doesn't know where to go? No problem. Talk with our farmer, Bengar. What are you doing here? I'm the shepherd here. It's not exactly a demanding job, but now and then, you really have to watch out, especially if you get too close to the pass. 
What do you know about the pass? Not much. Just that it leads to the old Valley of Mines that was surrounded by the barrier until a few weeks ago. Back then, the only thing we farmers had to be afraid of was the monthly caravan that took all kinds of goods to the Valley of Mines. Those cutthroats often made life difficult for us out here. Where can I find the pass to the old Valley of Mines? Near the two waterfalls on the other side of the high pastures. What is it they say about the Valley of Mines? All sorts of things. Some of the boys say they've heard screams at night. Some have seen strange lights over the mountains. But if you ask me, it's all just old wives' tales. Have you ever been to the Valley of Mines? No, but I go near the pass once in a while. Then I always see those two paladins who stand around and keep watch. It looks like they're making sure that nothing comes out of the valley. Back then, the Valley of Mines was a natural prison. If you went in, you never came out again. Tell me more about the paladins. How long have they been posted there? A week or two, I suppose. I don't know exactly. Some time ago, there was even a whole troop of them that disappeared into the pass. Since then, I haven't seen them again. I don't see any women here at all. You got that right. This is a man's farm, so to speak. Works pretty well, I think. Don't work too hard. I'll try. You've got a lot of space up here. It's nice enough. But if you go through the pass back there, you won't think so much longer. <laughs> if this little tract of land has impressed you, then wait till you see the Valley of Mines back there. Why are you looking so solemn? You're wearing our aquamarine ring. You belong to the Ring of Water? I certainly do. Good to see a new face in our ranks. What's your task within the Ring of Water? I keep an eye on the entrance to the pass to see who goes in and out. Since the paladins have closed the gate to the pass, however, there hasn't been much coming and going. Have you heard of those missing people? Of course I have. That's why we're supposed to keep our eyes open. But I haven't seen much that would give you a clue, to tell you the truth. Who are you? My name is Gan. I'm a hunter and work for Bengar, the farmer here on the high pastures. I spend most of my time here outside, basking in the sun. What do I need to know about the Valley of Mines? No idea. I've only taken a fleeting glance at the valley. Look pretty dangerous. The best thing to do if you go there, through the pass, is to stay close to the beaten track. Either you take the way through the big gorge or the road over the stone bridge. That one is shorter and safer. Now that the orcs are roaming all over the place, you have to be a bit careful. I don't want to have to drag you to the Herb Witch. Herb Witch? Her name is Sagita, and she's the healer for the farmers and the other people who live outside the harbor city. A truly curious female. No one really likes going to her, and everybody enjoys gossiping about her. But if you're sick, you won't find better help than Sagita and her kitchen full of healing herbs. 
You'll find her in the strip of woods behind Sekub's farm. Can you teach me about hunting? No problem. For a hundred gold coins, I can show you how to gut the animals you bring down. Pelts and other trophies bring a lot of money in the market. Here, 100 gold coins for your expertise on gutting animals. Thanks. Now you're talking. What can you teach me? That depends on what you want to know. The best way to remove the wings of a blood fly is with a blow from a sharp knife very close to the fly's body. You have to watch out you don't damage the delicate tissue of the wings. They're worthless if you don't do it carefully. What can you teach me? That depends. These flies have a soft spot on their backs. If you press there, the stinger will be squeezed out very far and you can detach it with your knife. That Animals don't like to give up their claws. You have to place your knife very precisely. Your hand should be slightly crossed. Then you separate the claw with a powerful tug. Merchants are always eager to be paid in claws. How's the hunting? The last animal I could bring down was a large rat. Not very encouraging and bad for business. For several days now, some kind of snorting beast has been roaming the area. It not only kills everything that moves, it also interferes with my work. What does this dangerous beast look like? I don't know exactly. Up to now, I mostly heard grunting and scratching. But I've seen what it can do. Even wolves aren't safe from it. The beast even bit the head off of one. How much would you pay me if I killed that beast for you? I'd give the person who killed it everything I could spare. 30 gold pieces. Where does this scummy beast come from? Somewhere from outside the woods. Maybe from the Valley of Mines, but I don't know for sure. I've never been to the Valley of Mines. What can you teach that? The easiest thing to take from an animal are the teeth. You move your knife around the teeth in its mouth. Then you separate them from the skull with a skillful tug. 